Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Nice Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at a really cool crane-type platform creation. This has been created by Timotai, and it is basically the concept of a platform that you can use to reach high locations, and you can control it with a W, S, and D keys, and that is extremely important. Now, take into consideration, imagine you didn't have your jetpacks, or maybe hydrogen is rather impossible to come by, then by using this, we can actually, let's take ourselves down to the ground, so I'll run the program, and you can see as it starts to actually lower the platform back down to the ground area, but apart from that, you've got the up and down functions that'll take it right to the top of the extension. And you'll also got the one that takes it right down. But just look how stable it's keeping that platform. We'll have a look at the actual creation itself when we're on the ground. So as we return into this area, you can see we have the truck. Now the truck is covered in cool little features as well. So we've got the little logos up at the front giving warnings. We've got the crew cab, the mirrors. And on the sides, we actually have these little containers that are really quite cool. They lower themselves down like that on either side, so they're easily accessible, just like in the real truck in reality. And then at the sides, we've also got our extendable sort of support legs that keep everything comfortable and stable on the ground. That will attract in in a moment's time. But first of all, let's have a go of the W, S, and D controls. So if we grab ourselves a that little button and we grab ourselves control, Let's take control. Oh, maybe we need to actually be in a command seat. We do, don't we, Aaron? Don't be so silly. So we'll go to the cockpit, like so, at the front. And then we'll take remote control. So we've got access, we've got control. And now you can see it's actually controlled by W, S, and D keys. So if I want to go up, I hold space bar, and it can basically rise me to the platform that I want to. So what's great about this is if you had a scenario, say for instance, when you didn't have jetpacks, maybe you could set that up something privately, you could use a machine or a system like this using that W, S, and D to get the boom lift in the position. You'd have to work with, obviously, a teammate, move it left and right to help them weld a different area. Obviously, you've got back and forth as well. You've just got a great maneuverability and also this would be really cool as if you could actually maybe even attach a welder to it as well and you could weld different areas as you go and you could use this as possibly a one-man type machine or you could even have your friend on there sticking blocks in as you've got the welder underneath so it's just quite cool indeed so if i go back into this perspective just so you can see how the arms actually function as well here so we'll go back to f8 or actually f9 and that'll give us the right amount of control so you can see how it's making adjustment we've got that upper arm and then we've got the lower arm and they're working together just to create the sort of movement we want. You can see how the arms are now retracting back into that really cool sleeve. And what's quite cool about this sleeve as well, this is what's stopping it from bending out of proportion completely. And you've seen it many times how pistons start to bend if they get too extended. This little reinforcement on either side is protecting it to do that. So just a really cool creation. Now, what I like about this even more is its fold up function. So if we hit ourselves number nine, for instance, watch how this bad boy folds away. So the actual sort of ramp holding area where the character actually holds, folds into the side. The ramp then retracts itself back down. Look at that. that it's just, it's so cool. It's so much engineering gone into this piece. It's not particularly super visual to look at, but you've got to understand how the creators actually put the time and effort to work out how each piece is going to slot into each other. So there we go. It's clipped into the side. Looks absolutely beautiful. And the final thing we need to do is retract our gears in. So there we go, that's first stage of the actual gears, and then we've got the second stage. That just retracts them in really nicely. We've also got buttons for that on the back there. And let's just actually show you how fast we can take this thing for a spin. So let's go back into F9. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. I've still got control of the turret. So I need to leave that and get control of the truck that I do now. And we can basically head to the next sort of lifting site say if we head over here we'll try to set this up as fast as we can so hit our parking brake boom uh, let's retract our gears as fast as we can get them set up very nice indeed now the next step is getting uh, well basically the upper area set up so i'm going to deploy all my toolboxes as well because i think these are pretty cool so all the toolboxes can go down so my workers can grab the various tools they need and let's just access the remote control by hitting number nine we now have control and we can begin the process. So what I'm going to do is actually stick this on maximum extension. So it'll bring it out over the top. And you can see it slides over the top there. There is an easier way of doing it. I could just hit 9 again and then it stops it from actually getting caught. 
um, but I can also control this with the W, S and D keys as you can tell. It's a, it's a little bit easier than me going completely crazy and be trying to extend all the areas out at once. So there we go, let's hit that number 3 key again and that should pull it over there this time. It was just Darren pressing the wrong keys at the wrong time that made it look a little bit worse than it actually is. So there we go, it's going to level itself off on the ground and it's accessible for me to get in there now and control it. Let's um, give it a little bit of upward motion. So that should take it forward, hit the space bar, that should extend it upwards. Lovely, let's uh, retract our camera a little bit out so we can see what we're doing. But I just love the level of control you have over the arm. You can't, you, don't, you can't just move it left and right, you can move it back and forth. And you can also obviously bring the arm up and around if you want to. But everything, the most important part is everything actually stays stable on that little platform as I move it around. That I think is just absolutely great for working on. Builds a really stable working platform. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check the link out to this creation in the description below. It is absolutely fantastic. It might inspire a few of your creations as well. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you.